just help one person, it's well worth it. Brooke Mattingly isn't proud of this picture. It's her most recent mugshot from September of last year. I've been in here off and on since 2009, almost every year. But a lot has changed in that time, and it all started when prosecutor Otto Schock asked her to share her story. It's not, um, you know, it's not anything I'm proud of, for sure, but it's, it's the reality of it, and I'm glad I could be a part of it and help. Brooke is one of several recovering heroin addicts featured in the documentary, A Hit of Hell. It took me above and beyond even the pills. I mean, the pills were horrible, but this, this was a whole new hell. The 45-minute film is honest and shock hopes eye-opening for kids in Harrison County. Hey, these people that are dying, hey, they went to the same high school as you. They played on the same football team as you do. Uh, you know, they went to your middle school, and so it kind of hits close to home. No topic is off limits, including overdoses. How many times? Four. I've overdosed, I think, six times. Six times? Yeah. Brooke says she's lucky she only overdosed once. Probably the scariest thing I've ever been through, everything I've ever experienced. Um, it's very... It's a real eye-opener, you know, but it still wasn't enough to make me quit. But Brooke was finally able to get clean. She says no drug is worth more than a life. You think you can do it just this one time and it's not going to affect you, but it will, and you're going to either end up in jail or prison or, or dead. Morgan Lentis, WLKY News. That is powerful stuff. A hit of hell was produced entirely in Harrison County. We're told in a week or so it'll start showing at middle and high schools there.